Thank you, Tim. And now on to holiday habits, the part of the programme that prepares you for the quainter customs of some of the exotic places you might be holidaying in this year. Tonight, we look at Belgium, and in particular, Belgian eating habits. We have with us the Belgian chargé de fer, <laughs> Le Comte de Frou Frou. <laughs> Hercule, we've heard that there are some extraordinary social habits connected with eating in your country. Is this true? Mm. They may seem extraordinary to you. <laughs> but to us, they are, how say you, small potatoes. <laughs> yes, um, but we've heard, for example, that belching is a great compliment to your host. Ah oui, c'est vrai. The satisfied guest will feel abandoned uh, to burp at the end of his meal. Mm. But what if you really want to impress your host with how much you've enjoyed a meal? Breaking wind is a high compliment. <laughs> if after, or even during a meal, a guest blows off, <laughs> this is construed as high praise indeed. Mm. Preferably audibly, I suppose. Yes, Cliff. Uh, <laughs> but even the hushed burst of wind when it finally reaches the nose of the host, will not be misconstrued. <laughs> Indeed, in certain circles, the tact of the silent waft <laughs> is much prized. Whatever, your host will know that this meal is one of the finest you have ever tasted. Yes, but what if you want to say, this is the finest meal I have ever tasted. Not a very likely contingency in Belgium, my little <laughs> No, no, but, but let's say. Well, for a truly exquisite banquet, vomiting is the highest <laughs> price. Vomiting, <laughs> yes. The, the implication of bringing up all over the table <laughs> is that the meal was so splendid uh, you would like to eat it up all over again. <laughs> Well, that's really fascinating. Thank you very much for being on the programme. I've enjoyed it very much.